In the late winter of 2012, we introduced Petty Technologies Video Gate System to our Mississauga and Brantford offices. The primary goal was to enhance our patients' visualization and understanding of their biomechanical dysfunction. This allowed us to demonstrate many of the simple conditions we'd been previously explaining with models, pictures, and words. Immediately upon its introduction, we discovered that this simple system had much more to offer us, the biomechanical specialists, in achieving good clinical diagnosis. Previously, gait analysis was a difficult activity requiring a hallway, and even with the most accommodating adult subjects, it's not easy and requires a very skilled eye. All of that becomes even more complicated with brisk walking or, God forbid, running. Unfortunately, in producing this video, as you can see, the software we used has caused some cropping to occur in the lower images of the screen. In the office, we can display these crystal clear files on a large high definition screen, slow them down or advance frame by frame so the patient can fully grasp their condition. Here, the ability to freeze frame and show early heel lift and subsequent midfoot collapse would otherwise be impossible without this technology. The patient can never understand the full implications of their foot function and the degree of pronation they've demonstrated during mid stance. This greater understanding also helps us design an even better orthotic and advise the patient appropriately. Another area where this technology has proved invaluable is in the investigation of children's functional disorders. Typically, children become very self-conscious and it's hard to get them to walk for long enough to enable us to actually visualize what's happening. With the video gate system, we can capture them with one other member of staff in the room. The child can usually be distracted for an adequate portion of time, enabling us to capture enough video footage that we can review it over and over again until we're sure what's happening, and then subsequently present it to them and their parents. In reviewing these video files in combination with all the other collected information, physical findings, x-ray results, it's fascinating and truly enlightening for most subjects. Time and time again we hear patients claim, I've never really understood before what was happening to me. This newfound level of understanding we have found makes the patient better able to choose a course of treatment that suits their needs. It also produces better results in the treatment plan because with their increased understanding, they have an increased level of compliance. Oftentimes in life, we fail to see or appreciate the full implications of things that are happening over and over again in our daily lives. In this case, this young man's lack of propulsion and balance came as a complete shock to his parents when we first reviewed these files with him. Marilyn and I got to experience this revelation firsthand when we viewed our eldest son walking barefoot. Bear in mind, we've already seen significant improvements in his gait and stability over the last one and a half years of treatment. Thankfully, with a further eight or nine years of growth remaining, this should further improve. These digital gait and radiographic files provide an excellent tool to better monitor the degree of change in both structure and function of our patients. By allowing us to review these, we can better monitor the success of our treatment plans and make the necessary modifications as a result. The additional time it takes us at the end of the day to review these files and make notes is offset by the added depth of our diagnosis and the ease of conveying this information to the patient. Here we see a very clear example of the immediate differences we can make with the initiation of good footwear and in this case the incorporation of a UCBL device for the patient. Next individual is the younger version of the last patient, in fact my youngest son. He too is an apple that fell from the same tree. We identified at an early age that he had a significant structural anomaly causing excessive pronation and for a couple of years he managed this himself by toe walking. Since then he's been undergoing similar treatment regime as his elder brother and he appears to be responding well. Each of them are wonderfully individual and so too 
There are unique aspects to their structure and function. The detail available from these slow motion images serves only to force us to identify these variations and address them as the individuals that they are. Our results now have a new quantifiable value to them, but our reward still comes from seeing the dramatic improvement in structure, balance, comfort and function that so many of our patients have reported. Thank you for having taken the time to view this presentation on digital video technology. I would be also remiss if I didn't say thank you to the terrific development team at Petty Technology in Montreal for having had the patience to work with us and provide us with such a valuable tool. Thank you again.